With the world's call. By the 1990s, Australian comedians were doing their best to make it a two-way flow of cultural traffic between Australia and the world. They had their work cut out. We got lots of humour from America in terms of things on, on our television, and we got lots of humour from England. Solo, Frankie boy! But I remember having this feeling, and I don't know if it's exactly resentment, but a sort of feeling of discovering, suddenly realising, oh, we're just a small... We're a small fish in a big pond. Actually, that traffic doesn't go both ways. I'm, I'm just going to sing a love song now. Uh, it seems to be the, the flavour of the show At today. least Lano uh, and Woodley were doing their bit. Yeah, As song, the Frank, second you know, Aussie act to win the Perrier song. Award in Edinburgh in 1994, no, just no, over a decade go. after Los Trios Rimbarcus. She was so beautiful. She had eyes. Which was good. We were such kind of unknowns in Edinburgh that we couldn't get into the Edinburgh Perry Award party because Steve Kearney from Los Trios said that he was Lano and Woodley. Him and his and friends. He, and he got into the party before we'd arrived. Yeah, so, no, they're already here. No, <laughs> yeah, what? No, we are. No, no, he, no, there's a guy before. He's come in. You're already here. No, but we're not. <laughs> all right, that's it. This is our last show together, all right? I've had a bit of a chat with myself and you, you're out of the group. I remember the first time ever that we were called comedy stars, where the term star was used, and obviously was bandied around pretty loosely and easily, but was after we won the Perrier and we came back and Darren Hinch was introducing us on... He had a he had the afternoon daytime chat, show, yeah. chat show, and we were introduced as Australian comedy stars. Lane and Woodley have become international stars. They went to the Edinburgh Comedy Festival and they won the prestigious Perrier Award for the best comedy act. So does this make you the funniest guys in the world? Rachel Berger was here yesterday. She'd been in Edinburgh, and she said she was the funniest. Right, so, so it's all... It's, yeah. And I mean, the I actually... brothers are coming on next week. They said they are the funniest right. at the Edinburgh Festival. Well, we're the only humble ones who have said we're not the funniest. <laughs> <laughs> Someone would say, oh, I believe you've won the period, and then we'd, we'd go... Oh, we don't. Yeah, we don't care about awards or whatever. But we've had to, you know, have the. But we want you theme. to care about it. <laughs> Some people clearly did care about it, as their overseas success in Edinburgh convinced the ABC back in Australia to commission their first television series. The ultimate Lena Woodley bit is from the TV show when Cole answers the phone, and it's become apparent that they're about to go on a holiday, and Frank hasn't booked the accommodation, and Cole answers the phone and starts off at a very high pitch. <laughs> yep. And as he's relayed the information, he goes way down low. OK. What? <laughs> right. <laughs> so am I to understand that... Right, I understand. <laughs> Thanks for calling. Ah, <laughs> oh, it makes me so happy.